watching the Windows 10 Technical Preview Part 3. We're doing performance tests today. I've done a dual boot here of Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 Technical Preview. Then I added Windows 7, all 64-bit, same drivers installed on this hardware that's running the A10 6700 at 4.2 gigahertz. Yes, I did overclock it a little bit, but I kept it to just four gigs of memory, regular board, small hard drive, um, a regular graphics card, you know, entry level stuff, GeForce GT 740 from NVIDIA, and, uh, you know, good mix of stuff there just to see how it would run. Now, memory usage, when it comes to Windows 7 on this hardware, it's definitely using over 800 megs already of the memory. That's about 20% of that 4 gigs of memory used already just for those processes. However, in Windows 10 and Windows 8.1, you can see the memory usage is only 17%. So, 17% is a good improvement over 20% in Windows 7. Okay, that amounts about 700 megs uh, of that memory is used. Okay, so keep, the, keep that in mind. It's still early. There could be changes down the road. Benchmarking now from the ADA64 cache and memory, I noticed that in Windows 10, the copy memory bandwidth was higher. So faster memory bandwidth there on the copy. Still, again, a little bit early, hopefully with driver improvements, in the system, we'll see some, some performance gains. However, calculating pi to 1 million decimal places showed that Windows 10 was faster, 28.281 seconds, compared to 30 seconds on Windows 7 and 29 seconds on Windows 8.1. Not too much of a difference, but something to note. On the CPU Queen scores, though, it agreed and showed that a higher score of 21.203 on Windows 10 technical preview was sufficiently, you know, to make a difference there over the other two. Okay, so definitely some improvements. The overall system test from PC Mark 8, the home test, showed that Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 were tied at 27.43. Okay, and then Windows um, 10 technical preview was 27.68, so a tad higher there overall on the system. Now, 3D Mark doing the Skydiver test, Windows 7 6544 was the score, okay. Windows 8.16483, because of the physics score, it kind of dropped there, so I'm not sure what happened there on the physics score, but everything else is pretty much the same. And then on Windows 10, it went back up to 6510. Again, drivers, all identical, but I could tell that the drivers weren't necessarily optimized for Windows 10 technical preview anyways. Now, looking at more benchmarks there, here on Windows 7, you can see the overall system score, the average frames per second, about 20 frames per second, compared to Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 technical preview, it was pretty much no difference. I, I would say that there was about half a frame per second difference in Windows 10 technical preview. So still again, early, I'm sure when they optimize the drivers even more, we'll see some better results with games, which I'll obviously review and do some more benchmarking on for you guys. So comment below, let me know what you think so far on the Windows 10 technical preview. If you haven't watched part one or part two, please click here, okay? And uh, please thumbs up the video for more videos, okay? And again, thank you for watching and subscribe.